Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at comparing improper fractions and mixed fractions. We're going to convert four fraction problems. One and one-third, seven-fourths, two and three-fifths, and eleven-fourths. We'll use some different materials today to learn how to do this. We'll be using fraction pieces and number lines. Let's get started. We first need to make sure that we understand the difference between a mixed fraction and an improper fraction. A mixed fraction is a fraction that has is written with a number and a fraction. So here, one and one half. An improper fraction is actually where the numerator, the top number, is bigger than the denominator, the bottom number. So seven being bigger than three and seven thirds is um, an improper fraction. Both of these fractions represent numbers that are greater than one. So there's so what we're going to do today is actually convert one to the other so that we know what a mixed fraction is the same as which improper fraction. So let's go try that now. My first conversion that I need to do is to convert one and one third, which is a mixed fraction, into an improper fraction. So I know that I'm going to have at least one third there. I need to figure out what one is the same as. Now we know that if I have a whole of thirds, that's going to be three thirds. So I'm going to put my whole right here. Now if I count up my thirds, I've got one third, one third, one third, one third, and one third here. So I have one, two, three, four. So one and one third is the same as four thirds. If I make a number line with fractions, and I can show you this, and there's zero, there's one, got one third, two thirds, this will be three thirds, and this is one and one third, I'd have one, two, three, four thirds. Now we're going now I'm going to show you how to convert a an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. So I know that I've got quarters here or fourths, so that if I take a whole of fourths, I have four fourths. So I've got one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. Now that's one, two, three, four, I need seven. So that's one, two, three more, so I've got one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-fourth. So I know that this is the same as one, and I've got one, two, three here, so I've got three-fourths. So seven-fourths is the same as one and three-fourths. If I'm looking at this on a number line, I'm going to draw my number line, and I'm going to write my zero and my one, but one, two, three, and four, so one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, so this will be one and one fourth, one and two fourths, one and three fourths. I'm going to convert two and three fifths. I'm going to use a number line. So I've got, I know this is going to be bigger than 2, so I've got 0, I've got 1, and I've got 2. So that will be 1 fifths, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 1 will be the same as 5 fifths. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more, so this will be 6 fifths, 7 fifths, 8 fifths, 9 fifths, 10 fifths, and so then I'm going to do 2 and 1 fifths, 2 and 2 fifths, 2 and 3 fifths. So that's going to be 11 fifths, 12 fifths, 13 fifths. So 2 and 3 fifths equals 13 uh, fifths, sorry. Another thing that we can try here is that we know that every one is going to have five fifths. So we can write it as five fifths plus five fifths 
plus three-fifths. So five-fifths plus five-fifths plus three-fifths is the same, similar, sorry, to five plus five plus three, which is thirteen-fifths. If you want to convert eleven over four, which is an improper fraction to a mixed fraction, you just need to look at what the size of the fractions are. So it's quarters or fourths, so every four of these will be a whole. So if we have four fourths is going to be one, eight fourths is going to be two, and twelve fourths is going to be the same as three. We have eight but not quite twelve, so we know it's going to be eight fourths plus some number of fourths equals eleven fourths. I know that eight plus three equals eleven, so that's going to give me two there, two and three quarters is the same as eleven fourths. I hope that this helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put some problems up on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video and check your answers. If you didn't understand something in the video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps in the bottom to find the different problems. Thanks a lot. See you next time.